Hey everyone, it's Elsie here, and can we all just take a moment to celebrate the fact that I am on a literal roll right now with like making videos. It's it's going great. A um, bit of technology chat for you, because that's how we like to start off every scrapbooking video, don't we? We talk about technology. Um, but I film on an old iPhone, and I bought like a really long cable so I can charge my phone whilst I film. So, because before it was like running out of battery every like two seconds it felt like. And now I can just film continuously and have a fully charged phone, which is, I mean, it's the simple things in life, isn't it? Um, talking of simple things, um, I have um, already filmed this voiceover, or recorded this voiceover, but um, I have decided to scrap it because I was listening to it back and I went on a 10 minute tangent, so the length of this video, about um how crap my hobby craft is um hobby craft if you don't know is kind of it's like the uk's biggest scrapbooking supply store um so i guess it's kind of like the equivalent to like michael's or spotlight although it does nowhere near compare because i feel like if you go into your spotlights or your michael's everyone you get like there are actually supplies there for you to like buy and look at Whereas in my hobby craft, it's like a freaking desert, like not even joking. It's it's like a barren wasteland of scrapbooking supplies. And I went in there the other week, right? Cause I needed 12 by 12 white cardstock. Pretty, you know, basic standard thing that, you know, a store that's, you know, stock scrapbooking supplies should sell. Um, they don't sell it in my hobby craft. I was thinking I was going mad or something because I wasn't I couldn't find any ask someone no they don't have any they have black they have black paper but eh, no Elsie likes the white cardstock so there's that and then I went to like the paper stacks you are going to have to enjoy hobby craft chat um so just bear with for like the next few minutes um whilst I just get this off my chest <laughs> so I went into like paper stacks so I was like okay I'll just buy a few sheets before like um I can order you know some online kind of thing just to like see me through no do they have individual sheets of white cardstock no they had every color under the sun but white yeah yeah I thought I was going mad and then in my frustration and my anger I went to turn away and saw that they had actually patterned paper on these like stacks and I got very excited because I was like oh my god they have patterned paper in hobby craft you see what I mean I got excited about the fact that there was the possibility of patterned paper which I might like in hobby craft the struggle is real here in England guys you know first world problems <laughs> but yeah so they had some of the We Are Memory Keepers Wildflower collection, which I was very happy about because I wasn't like properly scrapbooking, I don't think, when that collection came out. So I was very happy to get my paws on that because, I mean, it's probably like the only time I will appreciate hobby craft being so outdated and behind the times in the scrapbooking world. Um, the fact that they had like older collections that I can't really get hold of anymore. So they had the Wildflower collection. Yay, very happy. Got a few of those papers which I'm fussy cutting out um, now and as you can see I also, I'll talk about the layout um, in a bit but just explain what I'm doing. So I fussy cut all the papers out and um, stitched around the ampersand which is how I spent my Saturday night because I am wild and to be honest, pretty great Saturday night, not gonna lie. <laughs> so yeah, back to the hobby craft chat. Um, so yeah, they had some old collections and they had the Maggie Holmes confetti. Oh my God, but they had two papers. So I did pick up, did I pick up one or two of those papers? I may have picked up one or two of those papers. So it's very exciting. And they had one paper from the Crate Paper Journey collection, which is the toupee paper that you saw in the beginning. No, not toupee. <laughs> oh my God, no, TP paper. That's the one, not a toupee. Ugh, can you imagine a toupee paper? I just feel like these little like Donald Trump hair wigs all over the pit. No. Ugh, God, no. Um, so, yeah, I got excited about that because 
Hobbycraft have literally the same two collections every time you go into the scrapbooking, you know, bit of the store. Um, and that is Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy and like a Chamel collection. I don't know what it's called. It's like one with rockets and cups of tea. And it has pretty enamel dots. I don't know. I can't remember the name. Um, so though, those are like literally the only two collections they have. They have some Tim Holt stuff. But nothing really of note. They had some really ugly distress stain colours like brown. Um, I don't want brown ink, I'm sorry. So, yeah, it's just so bare in there. And I'm just thinking, Hobbycraft just need to hire me. Because I am, um, I will sort them out, you know. And it will not only benefit me, but it will also benefit them. And me. And all of us UK ladies. Because, you know, I don't mind buying stuff online. But, it's just, like, it's just nice to go into a store sometimes and just see what there is and, like, sort of pick something up. Like, have an actual, like, physical place where you can see the papers and get feel for stuff. Like, my Hobbycraft doesn't even sell 12 by 12 page protectors. Like, seriously. <laughs> it doesn't sell Project Life page protectors. It doesn't even sell D-Ring albums. It sells the Postbound albums. I don't do Postbound albums. So it's just... <sighs> okay. Yeah. It's just so frustrating because, like, come on. <laughs> it's such a big thing and everywhere else, but apart from here, apparently. Um, and Elsie, I need some sort of motherland to go to. Um, and motherland. <laughs> oh my god, I sound like I'm on some sort of crafting pilgrimage. But, like, seriously, struggle is real. My friend's going to um, America in the summer and she's like, oh, I can pick you up some scrapbooking supplies. And I'm like, I'm not even joking. You'll need to take another suitcase <laughs> to, to bring me back some stuff. Um, she was like, I was like, I'll write you a list. <laughs> um, she thinks I'm joking, but I'm not. Um, so yeah, the layout. God, sorry about the hobby craft chat. It just felt like I needed to get that off my chest. So yeah, I'll talk about the layout now. So I had the idea of using like some sort of big motif that's like cut out and I settled on ampersand but just because it's like I don't know a cool symbol I like ampersands they're nice they're nice to look at um and I'm scrapping a picture of my brother's name when we were little and it's one of my favorite pictures of us ever it's so cute um because we were all just like I don't know I think we were at a castle in Wales or something visiting my granddad and we're all just like lying on the grass together and I'm playing with like a Furby. Do you remember those really ugly creepy dolls? I don't know whether they still have them but seriously like the stuff of nightmares Furbies. Um, and we're all just like lying on the grass and it's just it's just a nice photo I think. It's a nice little like memory. Um, so yeah use the ampersand. I used a crepe paper paper to with the wood grain. I don't know what collections that's from. It's from an older collection, but it's really pretty. Um, and then I just fussy cut all the butterflies and flowers and um, cut apart the cut apart sheet <laughs> um, uh, to use some tiny word things, but I didn't end up using any of them. It just looked too busy. So um, I used one in the top right corner. I think it just said like a favorite memory of mine or something like that. Um, and yeah, it's just, I don't know, I really like it. It's one of my favourites I think I've ever made. It's just like my kind of colours and my kind of sort of style. It's very like Englishy, I think. Um, like, I can imagine this in sort of, it's like English country house or like cottagey kind of feel, I think. Um, and I'm just putting some foam pads under the butterflies to make them pop a bit more. Um... Yeah, I really love this layout. It's just sort of my kind of thing. Um, you know, and I'm, I love it even so much I'm considering putting it in a frame just because I think it will look nice on a wall. So, um, just using some gold paint to do a few splatters and yeah, call cool, that done. So yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. I'm sorry about the amount of hobby craft chat in this video, but I'm sure you can relate somehow. The struggle is real. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying making all these videos I'm on a bit of a roll at the moment. <laughs> they see me rolling. No.
Um, so yeah, I've got a few sneaky, sneaky plans coming up. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone, and I shall see you in my next video, which will probably be in a few days because, you know, they see me roll and yep, okay, I'm gonna stop now.